Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you the 50s wiring. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without using too many special tools. If you roll back the volume on most guitars, you will lose a lot of treble and clarity, not just volume. It's not nice at all. I mean, if you want to darken your tone, you will use the tone knob, right? That's where the 50s wiring comes in, which helps you to avoid losing all the treble when you turn down the volume knob. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. What is the 50s wiring? Back in the late 50s, Gibson used to wire their guitars this way. It's a small change compared to modern wiring and it's easily doable on all guitars and basses that have one volume and one tone or two volumes with two tone knobs. It's a little trickier on strats and jazz basses, unfortunately. Basically, a 50s wiring is connecting the tone part with the volume part's output lug, instead of using the input. This is a modern wiring, so the tone is connected to the volume part's input lug. On 50s wiring, this connection would be here on the output. Typically, you will use a capacitor to bridge the volume and the tone parts instead of using a wire between them. I'll disconnect the tone from the volume and clean up the lugs. Be careful not to disconnect other wires while soldering. As told, I'll use the center lug of the tone pot for ground, so I connect it to the back side of the pot. The capacitor goes between the left lug and the volume pot's center lug, which is its output. If your guitar has two volume and two tone knobs, you simply repeat the process. And now it's time for a test drive. I show you the treble loss when you turn on the volume with the guitar's original modern wiring and with the 50s wiring. Let me know in the comments below if you heard any difference. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. I have cavities. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it makes much more sense now. <laughs> I was worried about your teeth. <laughs> <laughs>